Are you tired of boring, repetitive manual work in Excel? And do you have that feeling that there must be a better way, that feeling of exasperation? Now, imagine if you knew exactly what to use in Excel to get those tasks done instantly. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the magic of Power Query in Excel. It's been around about 10 years, but still, it surprises me how few people know about Power Query. Let's get into it. Data cleansing is something people are doing all the time in Excel, removing blank rows, removing duplicates. Power Query can get it done for us at the click of a button. Let's take a look. Well, let's get into the download file. The first thing we're going to do is notice the two tables in the file. We've got our basic data here and we've got our times data. We're going to bring these tables together eventually using Power Query. But first, we're going to deal with cleansing data. We've got some basic problems here. We've got a blank row and we've got a duplicate entry. So typical problems you would have with data in Excel. We're going to go ahead, select the table that we want to work with using Control Shift right, Control Shift down on the Windows PC. The table is selected. We're then going to go to data, get data from other sources and table. Now, because we've pre-selected our table, we should find Excel's going to load it straight into the Power Query editor. OK. Going to bring Power Query into your screenshot now. And what we can see is the table we've just loaded in, which is called MD2 Data. I can see it now in Power Query. So how do we get started? Well, let's get rid of these blank rows first. So we can see uh, in the Home tab at the top, we've got a Reduce Rows option here. So we're going to reduce rows, remove rows, and then we're going to go for Remove blank rows here. I'm going to click on that. And that's how easy it is with Power Query, Query instantly doing data cleansing now. Now, just take the, take the time to note in the bottom right corner, we've, we've got a step added. This is how Power Queries works, works with these applied steps. We can remove a step if we want here. We can also edit, change a step as we're going to see later on. Right. What else do we want to do? We want to get rid of these duplicate entries. So just be aware which column do you have selected in Power Query? The duplicates is in this match code column. So I've clicked on the header, selected the whole column. Then what do we want to do? We want to remove some rows. So once again, remove rows. We're going to go remove duplicates in Power Query. I can see the duplicate has gone instantly. And just notice in the bottom right, we have an additional uh, step added here. What else might we want to do? Well, the order isn't very logical at the moment. We're not in alpha, alphabetical order. So I'm going to select the home team column, click on the column header there, and I'm going to switch it into ascending order. So sort ascending, and we can see it's now sorted and we've sorted the rows in the applied steps. What else might we want to do? Let's dispense with some of these columns. We don't want all of these columns. So once again, in the home tab, we're going to go to Manage Columns. Now, whenever you're managing columns in Power Query, I just go to this Choose Columns option here. It gives us a very nice uh, dialog box that we can interact with. And for example, let's deselect all columns here. What do I want? I want the match code. We're going to use that later to match up the rows with the other table. The Home Team, the Away Team. I'm going to go for the Home Goals, the uh, Away Goals. And that for now, let's just take that in. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to hit OK. So we've done what we need to do in Power Query. We now want to load it back to the spreadsheet. So to do that, we're going to click on Close and Load. We're going to hit Close and Load to because we want to understand what are the different options for closing and loading back into Excel. So Power Query doing its thing in the background. Now we're going to have a little box flash up. And Excel is saying, how do you want to display the data? Power Query has cleansed it. Now, how do you want to display it when it's back in the spreadsheet? You've got the option here to only create a connection, which means you won't display it in the spreadsheet. It will just sit, sit in Power Query for you to do things with. And we'll get to that kind of thing a bit later. I want to display it as a table. So I'm going to click table on a new worksheet. That's the default option. That's fine for me. And what we'll see is we've got MD2 data. That's come back into the file and I can see we've got rid of our blank rows, our duplicates. 
the data is sorted and we've got rid of those unwanted columns. That's the power of Power Query to cleanse your data. Now, if you feel you're always manually changing, fixing your data, you're gonna love Power Query's transform functions. Let's take a look. Right, let's get over to the times uh, table here. So eventually we're gonna want to bring these two tables. We're gonna merge these two tables together. So we wanna get this table two into Power Query. Now, just take a second to note, are you naming your tables? You go to table design, you've got an option here to name your tables, Alt M N on the Windows PC gets us into the name manager. You can quickly review your table names there. Make the table name informative because we want to avoid the situation where we just have table one, two, three, four stacking up in Power Query. That's difficult to work with. So I've selected the table. We now want to load it into Power Query just as we did before, data, get data from other sources, from table range. And because we've pre-selected our table, Power Query is gonna go ahead, load up, and I can bring the Power Query editor into your screenshot now, and we can see MD2 times. You can see all of these are informatively named queries. We can skip back to the previous query. The queries are gonna sit here in the Power Query editor for you to work with. Now. Data types, let's talk about data types. Take a second to note these little symbols at the top of the columns. This is a text column, this is a text column. Goal times, Power Query hasn't quite processed it properly. So we're gonna go ahead, uh, click on the symbol. We want it to display as a text column because it should be displaying numbers and commas, numbers and commas, those commas being a delimiter. I'm gonna go to replace current here. Those, those commas being a de delimiter. We're gonna pass out the text by those commas, those commas being a delimiter. But before we do that, we just wanna duplicate the column. I often do this in Power Query because I want to retain the original column and I don't wanna to have to like look at many, many columns. We'll look at it in just a second. So we're gonna to go to Add Column, Duplicate Column here. That's how easy it is to duplicate a column with Power Query. Now with my goal times copy duplicated column selected, we're gonna go back to transform. We're gonna go into the text column options and then split column here. Hmm. Split column and there's our key concept by a delimiter. A delimiter being the repeated character in the text by which you wanna split up the text. This is the concept of a delimiter. Now the comma, that's the right selection for us and then we want each occurrence of the delimiter. We want one column for each goal time. And looking across, I can see our Power Query working away and it has split up our goal time. So we've done that passing operation on the transform tab in Power Query. Now, what do we wanna do? We wanna get this table back into the spreadsheet with the transform data. I've just click on, clicked on close and load there because by default, Excel will load the table back into a new worksheet. And we can see now we've got MD two times the name of the query, the name of the table, and I can see our data passed out across there. And just take a second to note, another great way to work with queries in Power Query is using this queries and connection box. I can now double click on MD two times. That's gonna take me straight back into Power Query. But this is how to transform data. The goal times passed out, and this is the power of Power Query. Now, if you need to add columns to a table to do some additional calculations, Power Query has got you covered. Let's take a look. I'll just take a second to note the match code here. We've got this match code row, and in the times table, which we wanna to bring together with the previous data table, we don't have a match code row there. So we can use Power Query to add a column, create that match code. So with that in mind, Let's use the queries and connection box here. I'm gonna double click on MD do MD two times, something like that. Double click there. That's the query we were previously working with. And let's bring the Power Query Editor into our screenshot here. Okay, so we wanna generate this match code. How are we gonna go about doing this? Let's go to add column. Just know I've got the home team column selected. I want the first three letters from the home team column. How to do that? Add column, extract. I'm gonna go first characters here. Then I have the option to choose how many characters do I wanna keep? We wanna keep three characters. That match code consists of three characters there. And that's how quick it is in Power Query. We've got our first 
three characters there, but we need to do more. Specifically, we want those in uppercase. So I can just go to add column format and uppercase. We can see we've got an additional column here formatted in uppercase. So that's what we want for the home team. Let's do that for the away team now. So I'm very being very deliberate about selecting the away, T col the, the away team column here. We're going to go to extract first characters. So repeating what we did before, repetition is so important in Excel to really embed the skill. And then we're going to go to, with that column selected, we're going to go to format, of course, uppercase. And now we've got the home team name and the away team name in uppercase. So that's, that's the ingredients for our match code. But we need to do more. We need to actually generate that match code. And to do this, we're going to create a custom column uh, in Excel. So let's go ahead the custom column in the Power Query Editor. I'm going to hit custom column here. Now, it can be a bit confusing, these custom columns, because they don't use Excel formulae. They don't use VBA. They use what I believe is called uh, Microsoft's M language. So Google's going to help you and you get some support in the editor here too. Right, the formula I want, the function I want uh, in the M language, I think it is, is called text from. Text from is just going to take the contents of a cell, allow us to concatenate them, join them together to give us that match code. So what columns are we interested in? They're listed here. It's that uppercase column, isn't it? That gives us the three letters in uppercase. So I'm going to go uppercase insert, and then we want to close the bracket. And then the ampersand is going to allow us to uh, insert that hyphen, which is part of the match code, another ampersand. And now we're going to repeat our text from function for the away team here, opening the brackets. Now we want uppercase one, our second uppercase column, putting that in and then closing the brackets again. This looks good. You get some support from the editor. You can see down at the bottom, we've got a problem here. So the editor does help you a bit and it's telling me now no syntax errors are detected. I can hit OK and then you can see we've got our custom column here and suddenly we've got our match code appearing. I can go home now close close and load back into the spreadsheet. Hopefully everything's going to come through. Power Query is updated and I can see uh, right at the end there, we've got our custom match code column. That's important because we're going to use that column to match to the other table where we've got the match code column. We're going to use the merge function to do that. So much great stuff in Power Query isn't there, but for me, this is the best part of Power Query, the ability to bring multiple tables together into a single table I'm using on my projects all the time. Let's take a look. Now we can do this in two ways. We can merge tables and we can append tables. We're going to talk about the difference uh, over the course of the next few minutes. So we're going to go into our original query, which is MD2 data. We're going to double click on it, allows us to get into the Power Query Editor. What we're looking to do is merge this query because remember, we want to bring some data in from the other table, from the goal times table. Merging the query refers to adding columns to a table. If you're merging, you're adding columns. If you're appending, you're putting data on the bottom and you're adding rows. So how to do that? We're going to go to combine. I'm in our original query here, MD2 data. We're going to go to combine and merge is the option we want because we want to add columns. Click here. We're going to merge the queries as new. That means I can retain the old queries and kind of re re review them if I need to do that. So I tend to merge and create a new query here. So we have um, this window coming up. So Excel is saying this is the table into which you want to bring some data. So it's saying where is that data going to come from? So now we can go ahead. We want MD2 times the other query that we're working on, we can go ahead and select that and Excel has brought in all of the columns in that query. So far, so good. So what do we need to do? We need to tell Excel how are we matching these rows? How can Excel understand when it brings this data in which row pairs with which, which row? We're doing that, of course, using the match code column. So going to go ahead and select that column in the first query and in the second query. And we can see down at the bottom, the selection match matches 10 of 10 rows from the first table. This is good news. This is good news because we've matched the rows. Now Power Query should be ready to add some columns to that table in a way that makes sense. So 
We're now back in our original query. We've created a new query. It's called merge one, but it looks pretty much like the original query. Apart from down here, we've got MD two times. What on earth has gone has got on here? So with this merge query option, Excel effectively brings in the whole table and then gives you an option to choose which columns to display. So from MD two times, what do we want to display? Well, we could display uh, any of these. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and deselect all columns. I'm just going to bring the gold times in, you know, whatever works for your situation, you could bring in. I'm just going to bring in the gold times. So this should give us a merged query here. And we can see we've got match code, home, away, home goals, away goals, and then we've got those goal times too. So if I hit close and load, we're going to create a new query uh, in the spreadsheet at the risk of confusing you. We have to do this to really show the power of Power Query. And we can see we've got our match code, home away, home goals, away goals, and we've got those goal times in, those goal times having come, of course, uh, from the times two table. So hopefully you've been able to follow all that through. So this is a merge, and merge, merge refers to adding columns to a data set by matching columns. We use the match code to match rows rather, by matching rows. What else might we want to do? What about appending data, appending data? Now, adding data to the bottom of this table. Um, well, if you're very observant, you might have noticed we've got MD1 merge in this file, MD1 merge. So match data one merge in the file. So we've got match data one, match data two, day one, day two data, we want to bring those tables together, stack them one on top of the other. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'm going to go to the, the merge one, uh, double click here, and we're going to append some data to the bottom. Now I've paid attention to the structure of this table, made sure that the column structure is close to the same, pretty much the same. So we're going to combine again, merge one is selected, we're going to append queries this time. Now, hopefully I got appenders new there. I'm not sure if I did, but we're going to see. We want to concatenate rows from two tables into a, into a, a single table. So merge one. Um, in fact, let's go back here. I'm just going to make sure we're going to append queries. Append queries is new. This is what I want to do. And let's um, see what the options are. Yes, this is what I was looking for. So the first table is merge one. That's the table we've just created. The second table is going to be that MD1 merge, the properly named query, hopefully with the same columns. So we should see these two tables coming together now. That's exactly what's happened. You can see the columns are matching up and we've got two uh, data sets being appended, being um, stacked, concatenated, whatever you want to say, into a single data set here. And we can see append one added to the file there. If you enjoyed getting to know some of the more advanced features in Excel, you're going to love this 30-minute session on Power Query. I'll see you there.